and back with the art game. Let's begin the game again. Right from scratch. <sighs> Good old sweet office 427. So where do I go now? I don't know. I'm sure we'll figure out something. Let's hop to it. No dialogue. Eh? Oh my. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Sure. We'll go all the way back to the mind control. Even though I could have loaded a save. Yet there was not a single person here. We'll either. try to keep the continuity. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's mm -hmm. office. Coming to a staircase. Oh, I forgot to check Stanley the computers. Stanley upstairs to his boss's office. Oh well. Such is life. Yeah, it's not that. Not got a computer this time. Oh well. The moment he entered his manager's office, Stanley froze in his tracks. 425. I don't not remember. Not a living soul Two, anywhere. Eight, four, Could he really be five. all alone? Yeah, the game. This was too much for Stanley to take. Too much for any man to take. He felt Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. He relaxed <laughs> with some calming new age music. <laughs> oh, game. Look. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Cool. Loading screen, here we come. Dur, 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 dur. Let's go play around the mind control shit. <sighs> Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Sure did. And of course, the we've seen this before. On an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I'm sure he does. He's already found out before. Narrator. Now the monitors jump to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced. And there's that room all the way up there. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to You know, for all the saves that I've made, I've never bothered to load them. I guess it's just not no, tedious for me to... to it. it only it takes a few minutes. It. I get his to enjoy the narrator. In someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable. Too used to make convenient saves. Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Who can say? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Let's see if I can find the walking, one. Eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded Two. from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never Three. again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle Five. the controls once and for all. Four? Four. Oh, that's four up there. Okay. Let's push some buttons. Four. 
four. Eh? No? Maybe I needed to press the buttons. Uh... Basically, after I flipped the on switch. I considered that as a possibility. Well. I'll hop down here for old time's sake. Look at it. Admire the glow. And we'll actually make some progress, I guess. So it rains outside on this beautiful Monday morning. Staying away playing computer games at 512 because I don't have to go to work. I'm on vacation. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. <laughs> In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of oh. is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. What well, all this we'll try to flip I these again. I know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated? All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Oh? Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control rested away from you, it's quite rich. Three attempts remaining. Go. But I'm sure whatever what? I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? Eh? To hell with it. I'm going to put oh. some extra time on the clock. Why not? Son of a bitch. These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh, I oh, see dear, now. Man, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right Three? now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this oh. room was capable of Two? turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on... I don't actually understand what it means. These numbered buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any Maybe I need to look at the purple buttons? In this place is? <laughs> Stanley, mm. you're in for quite a disappointment. It's possible. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. 
It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To nope. see you made humble. This is so that's three attempts. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to stop. I'm sure it is. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. Oh, no ending here. Goodbye. You being blown I could also mean nothing, and I was just pressing buttons uselessly. Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. Oh, well, we get and to see this. Me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. <laughs> All right. I don't feel like All standing there today. All were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Fucking narrator. Can't let him win. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. There's got to be a meeting with those buttons, and I'm just not seeing it. Might take Yet me several there tries. A single person here either. Feeling a way I might, I might even deep, save. Stanley decided save to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked That's right. upstairs to save his load hacks. Office. Even in this, once again, I forgot to look at computers. Damn it! I was so excited. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm glad you got that. I wonder if we'll speed this up, this whole mind control room up. That'd be pretty cool. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Sure did. Alright, I got a new plan, everyone. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. We got what this. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Actually, I'm not sure I understand the system at all. A lot of buttons there. Doesn't mean I won't try again. Monsters jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. I just talked about how I didn't much care for saving or loading because well, I was I have been saving. I haven't needed to load. It's not that much of a struggle to get back here. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world but here was the proof the heart of the operation controls labeled with emotions happy or sad or content walking eating working all of it monitored and commanded from this very place and as the cold reality of his past began to sink in Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life for he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Sure would. Don't mind me. Convenience. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? Probably not. After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so no much that push machine these buttons. can do. You were supposed to let it go. Turn the controls off and leave. 
If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent. Okay. Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation sure. system. In the event that this machine is activated hmm. without proper DNA identification, I wonder. nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. Probably not. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. Ah. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. True. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious <sighs> moments each one of them is. More time charge. to talk about you. We gotta build up a charge. Me. Where you have three attempts remaining. I still have the three attempts. No Re-enter passcode. What's that? Okay. You'd like to know where your co-workers are. Well, a moment of solace before you're obliterated. Two. All right. Yeah, say two. Like maybe we'll just keep punching two away. here. I'll tell you exactly what two? happened to them. I erased two? them. Two. I turned off the machine. I set you free. I guess I need to confirm course, the two. It was merely in this instance of the story. Eh? Sometimes when I tell it, eh? I simply let you sit there in your office forever, eh? pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. No. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. Button hit provided. I this, though, this version of events <laughs> dark has been blue, amusing. huh? Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the okay. clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Sure. Dark blue. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Incorrect. Is it that you have no idea where you're going or red? what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just see you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little <laughs> thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. You win for Anything, now, man. Anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? Oh, we get to hear his, his story, his spiel Do again. Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? But you really believe... Two attempts remaining. How many times will you replay this bit, looking desperately for a solution? Ten? A hundred? A thousand? I look forward to finding out and to watching the bomb go off each time you fail. Just you and me and the wretching explosion of fire and metal over and over and over for all of eternity. Damn, can't deactivate those. And Stanley those. died again. <laughs> and Stanley died again. And Stanley died again. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left. All right, narrator. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No Able backup power to activate. Blow to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable... Damn you, narrator! Until the moment I say, happily ever up. Alright. Well, what else do I have to explore? I'm trying not answer the phone. Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Just a matter of time. Yup, sure was. When Stanley came to a set of two open, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly All well. Alright. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee. I'm gonna treat them as a strategic puzzle that I can solve. I'm just gonna let my and mind mull over it. The lounge. I did make a but save there. To get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his Maybe you'll love that. Maybe you'll keep going. Why not, right? Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Mm-hmm. 
Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Okay. I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Sure. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your mm -hmm. work aside. To let her back oh. into your life. She's been waiting. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Oh, no, 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 you can't. Did you just unplug the phone? Now, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. All right. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Which choice would you make? Mm. Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Excellent. Making choices on a regular <laughs> basis is the best part to I definitely did make a choice onto my own. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material All covered right. in this video. Good. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Sure. Oh, man. I could have practiced. You know, I actually would have recorded the microphone, but well, you know. I made my choices. Hmm. Hmm.
Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Seemed like I could have fallen the main off character there. Dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. Sure. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Yeah. But unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Mm -hmm. All right. Doesn't look like I can try to squeak off here. I lost my chance. I'll get over it. Let's keep seeing where this goes. Do you just want me to go all the way back to the office? I guess I can do that. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Fantastic. Looking forward to it. In the real world. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. Right. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh, come on, man. That's too easy. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Eh? Alright, we'll go the other direction now. See where this goes. <laughs> oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. You don't? Ah, oh, Don't do that. But... But video game. Hmm. See, this is what happens whenever I can't figure out the buttons. I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine and you've run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? <laughs> You're a child. Oh, my story. <laughs> If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. ...is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry... <laughs> ...behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a center, <laughs> do it one doors, more time. He entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry! 
is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right. Fine. Let's see whether this has broken anything. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Oh, I can't open it. In this reality. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked oh. upstairs to his boss's office. That's been walled off too. Still didn't look at those computers, but things have changed. We're definitely in a different reality. Yup. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Nah. Not in any rush. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. Business strategy. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? No. Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. I'm sure it is, and yet. I don't know, man. Okay, fine. You're not gonna do it. But you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is everything alright? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. What awaits us in this reality, everyone? Who can say? This video has gone on a very long time. Longer than I thought it would. 
I guess all those attempts at everything, and eh, well, whatever.